I just want to quickly bottle these chairs and this rug. All right, so I'm going to take this, shut the ringer down to the basement. We'll take Z 180. Right. I'm going to come in, and I am going to grab. Let's say I'm going to take this face. Shifty. I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to break it out. here is about the same thickness. And I'll go a little bit more. Again, just by eye. I'm going to select that one and that one. Control E, bridge edge loops. And then this one and this one. This cushion doesn't go up quite as high in this chair. Past the armrest. So I'm going to take that down. And that will make it a little bit cozier in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this in the X a little bit like that. I'll slide it back and I'll just adjust the pillow cushion. In fact, it's a bit too thick for that, yeah. It shows up through the armrest, so we'll uh, we'll deal with that then. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, let's 
uh, drag all of this down so it starts seeing a cushion through the armrest. As I move, we'll come down a bit more. There we go. Even, even more cozy. But I prefer it like that. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to copy this chair. There's two of them. These are a little narrower than these, so I may even decide to um, scale these in the Y a bit like that, and then just do that again. here. Shift D and scale it. I'm going to go P and break it out. And make this rug area here. It comes quite close to the center. Let's actually just go ahead and extrude it a tiny bit quite close to this end and about something like that that's probably okay and I'll put the a bevel on it the same bevel as on let's say this and there we go 